Clarity is a way of transforming biological tissue into a form that can be studied in a fully intact state. So, for example, one can take an entire organ, like a brain, and make it completely transparent to light, and also to molecular labels, which may be large molecules like antibodies, which people use to add molecular information uh, to their studies. So uh, it's a way really of transforming uh, a complex biological system into a very accessible uh, and informative uh, new state. It's been a, a very long-held goal in biology. What Clarity provides is a way of not having to disassemble the tissue, and so that addresses the challenge of the uh, reassembly and reconstruction uh, process, both the practicality aspect and the scientific aspect. Clarity is implemented using uh, an array of tools that come from chemical engineering and integrated with bioengineering tools. One way this is achievable is by building an infrastructure within the tissue of interest that takes the form of a hydrogel. This class of chemical engineering tool uh, is, uh, enables a process that's somewhat akin to petrification or fossilization in that it creates a physical structure that adds rigidity and strength to the biological tissue. But the key important elements the basic structure, the form, and even the fine structure down to the level of individual synapses is maintained uh, in place, uh, available for further analysis. This is important for neuroscience. Uh, having the confidence of three-dimensional knowledge of how tissues are constructed is important for development. It's important for disease research like cancer, where one would like to know the uh, spatial arrangements in volumes of cancer stem cells, the uh, niche or the location where cancers develop. And so uh, we, we anticipate that clarity may be useful uh, across fields of biology and both in normal and disease states. My particular uh, interest in this case stems from my background as a psychiatrist and neuroscientist. We're interested in the structural uh, differences that may exist in the brain in healthy states or disease states. And a widely held hypothesis, but difficult to test, is that certain classes of psychiatric disease, like the autism patients, for example, that I see in clinic, that the abnormality in their brains may relate to three-dimensional uh, wiring or connectivity differences. We've already been contacted by individuals, for example, studying cancers who uh, would like to apply clarity to biopsy samples and understand uh, the exact volumetric uh, or three-dimensional arrangements of cells at different stages of uh, human cancers. Uh, and this is a natural application uh, for clarity. Uh, in addition, physicians studying uh, the normal functioning, the normal physiology, or abnormal functioning of other tissues, such as uh, lung or muscle or heart, uh, both in terms of development and in terms of function of the mature tissue, uh, and in terms of repair strategies, we'll uh, likely and already are uh, beginning to apply clarity uh, to uh, deepen their understanding of the, of the tissues and the organs involved. The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University. Please visit us at med.stanford.edu.